reason I came is for this right here today, ladies and gentlemen. What's your biggest regret? Oh my gosh, I got lots of those. Is that Fishing. We're at the East Tennessee Fishing Show. Hang out, you won't be pissed. vlog everybody What's up? I got Christopher driving the old be fishing forerunner right here I'm in the back editing a video we got Chris's brother right there we even got a little G girl right there Gabriella yeah I don't care about putting her in the videos who cares who cares what YouTube has to say about child actors are you an actor no. Okay, well there you go YouTube. She's not an actor. You can't pop me for that one. We are going to the East Tennessee Fishing Show. I'm in the back seat. My computer editing vidges for you guys. I and mean, we're gonna get some breakfast at the old Chick of Filet and uh, see if we can't get back on the road and make this, make this video happen. Meet up with some fans, meet up with some uh, companies and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. I'm done editing the next video, which y'all are gonna see. Well, you've probably already seen it. It's part one of the John Boat build. But I'm gonna play a game with Chris and his brother, as well as myself, a, a would you rather game, uh, but fishing related. We don't, we don't do dirty in the car. Kids are around. Would you rather only be able to catch Two fish a month that are over five pounds. It's only fish you, every month, you only get two fish you can catch. They're, but they're both gonna be over five pounds. Or, unlimited fish, but you'll never have one over a pound and a half. Time I throw, I catch a fish? Not every time, but you have unlimited opportunities to catch a fish, but they're never gonna be over a pound and a half. Or, you're gonna throw all day, but you're only ever gonna catch two fish in a month, but they're gonna be over five pounds every time. I'm gonna go with unlimited. <laughs> Unlimited, uh, unlimited pound and a half or less fish, yeah. as opposed to only two a month that's five plus. Correct. How about you, Bobby? <laughs> Hard guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go unlimited as well. I, I wanna know in the comments, what would you do? Would you go unlimited or would you go two a month that would be five plus pound? You can only target one fish for the rest of your life and it cannot be largemouth spot or smallmouth. What fish would it be? It cannot be one of those. It cannot be one of those. I know that's not would you rather. That's just a question. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's a not one. how you do it. Is it? <laughs> fish regardless. Yep. They'll be everywhere. Yep. I'm gonna go with peacock bass. That's that's actually very good. Very good, Bobby. You got one. Not really. He's in not striped bass. Striped bass. bass. Stri yeah. That's 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 a good big size bass. Probably just for the fight and because they're everywhere. Catfish. I'd probably go with a catfish. You've got an unlimited amount of size there. I'd go with a catfish. Some of you at home aren't going to get the significance of this question and how difficult it's actually going to be. Would you rather <clears throat> only be allowed to fish with a kiddie pole for the rest of your life or a spinning tack, a spinning setup for the rest of your life? Kiddie pole. <laughs> Chris cannot stand spinning tackle whatsoever. Whatsoever. Oh, folks, we made it. We made it. We made it. Ooh, there's a long line. So we're going to get in there. We're going to try to see if we can't talk it up with some folks. Maybe buy some tackle. And uh, we'll catch you here shortly. to get the barbecue sauce first I'm sorry that's good <laughs> so you know we had to do it again we had to come back with Kelly's back customs another year. Yep. back for back another, for another year y'all know Chris has got several Kelly customs baits y'all need to check them out you've got the website you're also pretty big on Instagram mm -hmm. yep so we're actually uh, changing our name we're uh, in a few months a month or two will be HK lure company HK Lure Company. Okay, yeah. what was the reason for the change? Uh, we're having some legal disputes with the, with uh, Kelly's. So now it's going to be 
so HK Lure Company, same thing, just different name. It, it, we're, I plan on doing stuff, you know, upgrading the website and stuff. So, so that's not actually unheard of. Y'all wonder why we don't call our homemade soft plastics B Fishing Tackle. Well, that name's already taken, so it's CB Baits. So we had to completely change yeah. it up. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, but same old thing, just different name. Website changing? Uh, yeah, just a few things, but it's, it's pretty much gonna be the same. Look, just follow him on Instagram, yeah. and you ain't gonna yeah. worry about it. Yeah, any yeah, of it. You, you'll see me regardless. What hot new colors you got this year? Well, I've actually been doing some things this year with uh, color changing paint. Hmm. It's, and it's and it's when the light hits it. Oh, I can see it's yeah. going to green, purple, yeah. and blue. Yeah, I've got some of those. I got it in something new. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, new body style lipless. The rattle traps. Nice little, nice some nice ball bearings in that. Got yeah. a nice little knock to it. Yeah, they might not see it, but they'll hear it. They'll yeah. hear it coming. So again, y'all got to check them out. Go on Instagram, Kelly's Custom Bait. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, for real, solid guy, solid bait colors. So uh, need to check him out. Thank you. You missed this, buddy. This is. Uh, they got weights for your Texas rigs. Yeah. That's See ya. They're just, it's an ounce, man. You don't fish a Texas rig on an ounce. I, I know somebody who does. It's got a nice slow fall to it. Yeah, that. <laughs> the, only reason, the only reason I came is for this right here today, ladies and gentlemen. The only reason I came. Only reason you came? The only reason I came. Hey, that's what I like to hear. How you guys doing? Good. We come from some of our new products here today. Well, I don't know about garlic herb. We got a garlic herb rub and we got a sweet mesquite rub. For our pork lovers, it's the sweet mesquite. For our white meat lovers and for those who love vegetables, we got our garlic herb and then we've got our three signature sauces still. It was this booth last year that got him the nickname Barbecue Sauce on the channel for the whole year. <laughs> and we're about to do it again. I want to get that one right there, man. Check into the live stream. This will be sitting on the table. Can I taste that? All right, folks, so we are back again with, with one of the people that sort of took us under their wing last year. Crystal Lures. Yes. We got the boys. What new colors do y'all have? What new things do y'all have in your lineup this year? Absolutely. So one thing we added was the heavier size, half ounce. We want to make a bigger jig for you guys that are fishing a little bit deeper. We put a six hot hook on there, so a little bit beefer hook, so you can put a bigger swim bait on it. We added the buffs. You always need some cool merch, some cool different style out there when you're out in the water. It's our camo buff. This is another thing. Cold weather, hot weather, those things work all year. Backpack. Seriously. Waterproof backpack, 100% waterproof. You can't beat it. Uh, we go out every single day. We put our camera gear, four tackle boxes. This is full of storage. So you guys need to check it out and get on them. So how can they get y'all? I know we y'all got Instagram. Yes. Yes. I've also got a YouTube channel as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And our website is fishcrystallures.com. Has all our products. Follow us on social media too, because we do a lot of flash sales and deals. So it's really good. Definitely got to go check them out. Um, I really like the series y'all started with on the YouTube channel too. It was very well thought out, very well done. Uh, go subscribe to them. Go follow them on Instagram and buy some stuff. I mean, buy, everybody needs a good underspin. I mean, they work all year, man. All year. As far as this time of year, if you get only to pick one bait to fish with, what would that be? Ooh, man, that's a tough one. You only get one. That's really tough. I mean, you know, in cold weather, which is what we have now, there's three or four baits that really are good. If I had to choose one of those, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you're killing me. I probably have to take a jig. I guess my greatest accomplishment
hardest thing to do when you go out on tour all the time? To leave your family is the, is the hardest thing. You know, I got grandkids and I just love being around. So leaving that, probably my biggest regret is, is you know, on the fishing side is um, I, I set, I pitched a bait, and I was leading angle of the year by a bunch, and I, I just needed a like a one pound seven ounces to win angle of the year, a one six, and I pitched into a tree and the bait hit the log. There's a lay down log, and the bait hit the log and flopped over. So I was about a quarter inch, half inch high on my pitch. Went on the other side and I stuck a three pounder and he came. It must have hit him in a nerve or something. He came out of the water just tail walking right to me and had the line wrapped around the log and it broke my line and cost me angle of the year. That's a pretty good regret. Yeah, that's, that's a tough. Yeah, that's a big. That's a big one. I know how you can remember the little details of situations like that. Yeah. And I was just, I was just had backed my pound test line down, thinking that that's the, you know, I was going to get more bites. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, what are you excited about most this year? Ah, the, the Bass Pro Tour is incredible. I'm just totally excited. Uh, the lakes we're going to, yep. they're going to have some giants. I mean, last year we had a couple big bass tournaments this year where we were really catching good ones, but this year should be just a slugfest. We follow Alabama to Okeechobee and and out to Lake Fork and of course Carolina. Man, when you're fishing falls and draw, I'm excited about going back to those lakes. And then we got a northern swing where we're going to be fishing uh, St. Lawrence River and Champlain, and those are the most amazing. And probably I've only fished one tournament, I believe one. I may have fished two in June in my life up north, right. and this will be like the third ever. Right. And to get up there in June is ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's just going to be the greatest thing. I, I, I almost want to spend a whole month up there and just have fun after. As soon as right. it's done, just stay up there and just keep catching them. I feel like they've set y'all's schedule up. It's like perfect to follow the pre-spawn right during spawn bite. So you're going to get the bigs. I like the variable weight limits that they've come out with. I think it's going to get a lot of your, your five big fish guys into the fold, which I'm excited about. I, yeah. I, I liked it last year. I'm not a fan of the variable weight limit. You're not? Okay. okay. No, because you know what I look at is that the general public right. loves Major League Fishing. Yep. Our ratings have gone stupid skyrocketing. I agree. And they keep going up. So now you're here. Why do you want to? Now tweaking is one thing, but right. why do you want to change things just because a few people are saying, man, right. why no, fish limit? You know? And you always have some noisy, squeaky wheels that do that. But yeah. this, this format is doing what it's designed to do. It's taking this sport, instead of having it be what it's been for 50 years yep. right here, it is now taking it to be this, right. growing the sport. There's so many more people looking at it, watching it, going, wow, this is cool, uh, even if you're not a fisherman. And then what happens with that? You go, man, I want to try this, right? So then you're going to get more people buying a rod, buying a reel, buying a boat, going out and experience it. You get out in the outdoors, you get to experience how awesome it is. It's a game change now. So the variable size limit may or may not. Yeah. I'm going to see how it works. The, the jury's not in on that. Right. The right. jury is in on Major League Fishing. On Bass Pro Tour is a slam dunk wild deal. Right. It's the hardest I've ever had to fish. It's the hardest competition I've ever been in. And it's the funnest because you, you never can let up. It's not like I got five in the box. I'm going right. to relax. No. you got to get number six and seven and eight and nine and ten. And, in Chickamauga, I mean a big one, and I stop on him and I pitch over there and the second cast to it, she ate it. And I set the hook and I'm like, dude, I'm going to rock it on this one, you know, and I start to drag it on that and she pulls off. Well, she goes back to the bed, I spend an hour, by that time I'm down at the bottom, I'm like, and I never recover. And, and I'm it. like, dude, you can't do things like that. you got to be fishing, you got to keep fishing, you got to keep catching. It's a total mindset change, it's a total game change of how you approach it. Yeah. But not just that, you know the other competitor scores live, Every, right? All day it's long. It's so dramatic you know, yeah. at the end of the day, which is it's fun to watch. Yeah. It's really fun to it watch. It is. It's neat. Dude. One bait this year, if you only had to, one bait to use this time of year, what would it be? You only get one. You know, it's so hard because, I mean, I, I would say, dang, that's tough. This is the thing. So whenever you say that, yep. 
it's, it's like you're, you're going through your mind because like if I'm in a position where I'm like in a tournament. Your favorite creek. I, if I if I'm in like a dirty water position, I'm gonna say like a, a lipless crankbait yep. because I can do a lot of things. I can fish it out deeper and yo-yo it and stuff like that. Yep. But then if I'm like in a clear water deal, I'm gonna say jig because I can do like a flip bluffs with it. I can drag it out offshore, so it's more versatile. That's what Grigsby said. Jig. He went with the jig. A jig's a great a great bait no matter day in and day out. But a lipless crankbait catches a lot of bait. See, I'm all about the traps. I would, uh, I would trap. go to trap if I get some grass and hey, just rip it. Here's that. Oh, Connell's always. And I was like, buddy. On uh, Instagram? Yeah. Does he even run his own Instagram? He does, and I and I do too. But like, it just like what happened. I get flooded with so many people. Yeah. So like, I I'll, I'll, just, I'll just just like I'll just go down through there. So like, it'll be like certain weeks, yeah. and you'll get me, and I'll just like go through in there and I'll hit like. All right, I'm gonna do an hour of refined DMs. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yell, man, hit him up. I'll, I'll yell at him. Okay. What's your name on Instagram? Uh, be fishing out there. Be fishing out there. Okay, I'll tell him. All right, so I got to tell you guys, I met some really cool folks. Y'all know how we like our high school anglers? You got to check these fellas out right here. We got Wyatt and we got Braden. I believe we got some new some subscribers in them, but let's, let's talk to them for a second. What is your favorite bait to fish? It would be a chatterbait and a waterfly. Chatterbait and a waterfly. You can't go wrong with those. How about you? Uh, probably a um, spinnerbait or a... Awesome. I, I like those two. Y'all go with the blade baits. I really like that. I like that. Moves a lot of water. Y'all have an Instagram maybe you want people to try to follow uh, you on? It's at Wyatt Chase 2008. Wyatt Chase 2008. 2008? Uh, I have a TikTok account of Brayden oh, Huddleston too. Check them out on TikTok and Instagram, guys. We love meeting all these all these young folks getting in the game. Uh, give them a shout out in the comments. Give them a shout out in the comments. All right, guys. So if you want to unlock your reels, this is the place to do it. Spool high speed bearings. Check this out. Hey guys, this is a factory bearing. You spin it, you won't get a second out of it. You put spool high speed bearings in, guys. I don't know if you can see that turning, but it'll spin for a minute by itself. And I do have an open one here. Where's that? Open? Right there. So you can see this one spinning, guys. That thing ain't stopping. It'll spin for a minute. Guys, you put them in your reels. The pack we put in here is called a Z pack for a reason. This is the Concept Z. The biggest problem they ever had with this reel is people did not like the bushings that come in it. But you put spool high speed bearings. It'll spin for three minutes, guys. Three minutes. We could sit here for the, the length of this video and just, and I'm gonna stop it so you can see me stop it. That's crazy. <laughs> the whole reel is just much smoother with our bearings. That's absolutely crazy. You helped design some of the favorite stuff. Like they've got the spool. guys. I went to Korea and designed the Soleus. This is favorites new reel. I actually got a Korean patent on this frontal bar. This is a lure attachment right here. Instead of draping it over the top of the reel, touching your line, and from the factory guys, comes with spool high speed bearings. It'll spin forever. All right, so y'all know I'm, I'm a PC fun guy, so I'm gonna pick up some for my torrent. So be looking out for that video. We're gonna set that up and uh, yeah, you gotta check these guys out. I'm, I'm assuming y'all got Instagram, Facebook, it's website. A, we got 70,000 followers on our Instagram guys. Go, go follow them, you, you gotta check this out. All right, sorry for the abrupt ending there. Um, as I'm editing this video, I realized we never did an outro. We were kind of in a hurry to get out the door, get back home. Um, so the abruptness ending there is, what can I do? I can just say I'm sorry about it. We're normal people and we forget a bunch of stuff. We're not very good at this YouTube thing yet. Anyway, um, if you are not able to attend a show or there's not an expo in your area, there's a lot of discounts at those expos. Um, if you're not able to get those discounts, well, I've got just the thing for you. Hit the link in the description. You'll see it. It's where I buy all my tackle. 
Uh, that is shopcarls.com, and it really is where I buy all my tackle. If you sign up for the Carls Club, you can save up to 30% off everything in the store, and literally it's most everything in the store. If you can't get to an expo and get those cheap prices, become a Shop Carls member and uh, get 30% off. Oh, did I say free shipping? Yeah, there's free shipping. So be sure to check that out if you're not able to attend an expo in your area and uh, get those discounts all year round. Anyway, I want to take the time to thank Jacob Wheeler, uh, Shaw Grigsby, um, all the vendors that we met and the ones that we've become friends with. Kelly's Custom Baits, if you haven't checked them out, they're, they're linked in the description. Uh, Steam and Steve's, you know we had to stop and get the barbecue sauce. Crystal Lures with the underspins, really quality underspins. And we're going to take those bearings, the high speed bearings, um, and we're going to put them on one of my torrents and we're going to keep one torrent stock and I'm going to take them out on the water and we're going to cast, we're going to compare the two. Um, do a little bit of a breakdown on is it worth it for those bearings because those bearings are 26 bucks that was the show price 26 dollars um, and i put it on a 30 dollar reel but if it increases the casting distance i am down for it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the links below check out shop carl's check out mtb check out all the vendors i just mentioned and uh, we'll catch you on the next one later